Hello again everybody and welcome back to the channel. Make sure you hit like and subscribe down below and as always let me know what you think in the comments below. Today we're going to take a little look at a scratch pad that's been developed by Maco Simulations and of course because of that we're at Maco Simulations fantastic Manchester Airport for Microsoft Flight Simulator as well so if you want to get your hands on this scenery and you've not yet done so um, similarly for Birmingham as well which Maco Simulations has made then all the links will be in the description down below. Now around about three months or so ago myself and Maco Simulations were talking about how it would be really good for us to create a scratch pad which everybody on VATSIM for example could use to type in taxi instructions, receive the METAR data and uh, all sorts of other handy information to try and help those of you who might be new to VATSIM and for those of you who aren't new to VATSIM just give you guys a tool that you could use to try and make your sim experience a little bit more fluid so you have a digital scratch pad if you like to put all of your data into and you can access it throughout your journey so over the last couple of months Maco Simulations has been working hard and uh, is now partnered with Navigraph to bring you guys a beta scratch pad which looks like this and it's really cool um, the very top line that you guys can see it says airline flight number departure you have to have data within these so for example we would be flying Speedbird type BAW and you can see it appear there flight number whatever that might be and your departure pop the airport code in Manchester arrival you can see now the Meta is starting to build EGLL back to Heathrow and you can see it's input our call sign at the top Speedbird 165 to really help with uh, giving you guys prompts for VATSIM to make your life easy and the next tab down below is where you build your IFR clearance so drop down to aircraft and the very top one there is A320 NEO but there's loads of options here and stand we're at stand 51 at Manchester so 51 and using vpilot for example we could put in uh, say for example on ATIS within vpilot its information delta we can go ahead and put that in there if we're flying the Samba 1 Romeo departure we can type that in there and we can expect runway 23 right departure time hours minutes put it in Zulu of course I'm just giving you guys an example and now if you press insert live METAR at the bottom working down the list you can see the METAR currently at Manchester so winds are variable at 1.5 knots so uh, almost pretty much winds calm visibility there is 32,808 feet that basically is just all the nines so you've got lots of visibility lots of visibility beyond 10 kilometers so 10k or more um, that's what your visibility is showing you there temperature 8 degrees Celsius dew point 8 deg uh, 6 degrees dew point 6 degrees Celsius and the altimeter 1011 for the Q&H in hectopascals and you can see it's selected that we've got overcast cloud at around about 1600 feet there is a little settings cog at the very top right hand side of the screen and if you click that it allows you to change your distances to meters uh, meters or feet Celsius to Fahrenheit as well so you can see their visibility we changed that to one 10,000 meters there handy for those people that might be flying in China as well of course so overcast at 488 meters for example but I like feet at the bottom then you've got remarks and notes two little tabs and you can add whatever you guys want into that section and they are expandable as well so you can actually click and move them about when you get your IFR clearance you would call up you know Birmingham ground speedbird 165 Airbus A320 NEO at stand 51 with information delta request IFR clearance to London Heathrow and providing you filed correctly and say for example it is the Samba 1 Romeo you would get all of that read back return to you via the controller with a squawk code it'll be uh, speedbird 165 clear to Heathrow Samba 1 Romeo departure runway 23 right 
initial climb 6,000 feet for example so remarks we can put in whatever we want at the bottom there squawk four five eight seven and we can add that into the top there and we can read all of that back on departure when we request push back and start for example we would usually be told push and start face and then a compass rose so we could be push and start straight back face south face west so we can just highlight those face north face east you know you guys get the idea there and your taxi instructions you can see there a tip a couple of people have been testing it within within the British Avgeek Discord server a little while ago we've been testing a few of these functions and helping to tweak things so you can see a tip there taxiway spacebar hold enter hold short shift and enter so if our taxi was speedbird 165 taxi to hold point mic 1 runway 23 right via Kilo and Juliet there you go you can see that's all put in there we're just literally typing it in with a space delete removes it of course if for example we were told taxi Kilo hold short Juliet we could do Kilo space Juliet shift enter so we, we'd read that back as taxi Kilo hold short Juliet and you can see there nice and easy and again there's a notes tab so whatever you guys want to put into there you can type into notes just to help you along too. The next tab is en route so again we can call up heading, flight level, speed and we can type in whatever we want here so if we're going to call up another controller in our notes we could just make a quick note um, flight level 330 inbound coxie and that's our current waypoint as we're making our way through. If we call up Brussels radar, for example, we would be calling up um, speedboat 165, flight level 330, inbound coxie. And we've made a bit of a note there. If during our en route segment we get told to fly a specific heading or change flight level or change our speed, for example, then we could do H320 space. And you can see there we've got our instruction entered there for fly heading 320. Or a change of flight level F350. Or we could type climb F350 space. And you can see there we've got loads of stuff. Speed, uh, speed 0.82 for example for Mac. If we're in knots of course we could type in S. 290 space and then in notes we could type in 290 or above or 290 knots or above for example just to expand on that so we've got a reference point to look at throughout and again you know, we could flick back to our departure and, and it keeps our data same with our clearance data too and then on the arrival tab it's still a beta but eventually this will have similar sort of stuff into the clearance so we'd be able to request a meta and there's also going to be a load of Navigraph integration via their API as well so currently it's in beta and it's available for you guys to all use make use of without needing to log in or anything via the macosim.com website eventually once the Navigraph API is fed into this scratch pad then those of you with a Navigraph account like myself will have to log in via their API and it will give us more access to SID stars, the latest AirAct data and everything else. So really promising and it's a great little free tool for everybody to use and enjoy as well. So I hope you found this short little introduction to this MacOSIM Scratchpad beta really useful. Make the most of it. All the links are going to be in the description of course and let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to click subscribe and say hello in the chat when I'm live next. In the meantime though, as always guys, thanks for watching.